Hey guys, and welcome back to Misha's Corner. Today I'm going to show you how to make the super delicious strawberry shortcake pound cake from scratch. So let's get into it. Today's video is brought to you by Vivo Home. It's, this is a six speed stand mixer and I have it in the color pink. It's so pretty, you guys. And I'm so obsessed with the make of it and the color of it. You guys know I was gonna get pink. <laughs> but the mixer is half the, the weight of a standard KitchenAid mixer, which I love because, you know, sometimes I've been cooking for so many years. Sometimes I have pain in my wrist. And so I was very impressed with that. Even if you're not looking for a standing mixer, they have lots of other options like that rotisserie. I'm definitely going to get that rotisserie maker. And yeah, so make sure you guys check it out. Use my code below in my description box and, you know, show them some love and tell them that I sent you. All right, so let's get into the pound cake part. I'm be, I'll be using two sticks of butter and cream cheese. I'm gonna beat them together using the first setting, speed setting on the stand-in mixer. The first thing I did notice um, is that the blade actually goes all the way down to the bottom of the bowl, which I love, love, love. Oh my God. <laughs> of course, I'm still gonna scrape the sides down, but it still you know, gives you that level of comfort knowing that everything is actually getting mixed together so I added my eggs and now I'm gonna mix them together I added three at a time and don't forget to check out my description box the ingredients will be below next I'm gonna add the last three eggs down in here you can add two at a time three at a time it doesn't matter just don't add them all at once because you don't want to make a mess and have to recover from it so that's what I did so you want to get it nice and mixed in Next, I'm going to add a big old heavy, healthy tablespoon of vanilla. Y'all, when you make your cakes, don't be afraid to add vanilla, okay? Next, I'm going to take my watermelon flavored margarita mix. Yes, margarita mix. And I added three tablespoons of that, mixed it in. And now I'm adding my flour. The flour is mixed with my baking powder and my salt. And you want to mix it on the first speed because you don't want your flour to spill out. And now to a greased pan. My oven is set to 325 degrees. You want to add your mixture to the pan. I didn't want a big old giant cake. So I just put it halfway up and saved the rest in the pan in the mixer bowl. Which is very big by the way. I'm impressed with that as well. For a smaller container to make an extra cake. So, in reality, you can make two cakes. All right, so now I'm going to make my macerated strawberries for the strawberry shortcake. So, you want to slice your strawberries just like I'm doing here on the screen. <sighs> y'all, it is so hard to speak with this braces in my mouth. I know y'all try to be talking about it, but it's so hard for me to speak, but... I'm getting there. Anyway, so now to my strawberries, I'm going to add some sugar and you want to mix that up and it's going to help, you know, release the juices from the strawberries. Lastly, I'm going to add my watermelon margarita mix and oh my God, this thing was so delicious. I could eat this whole bowl without the cake. I don't need no cake. I don't eat cake anyway. I'm on a <laughs> I'm on a weight loss journey, but yeah. This is what the cake look, looks like. This is the little cake that I made from the rest of the batter. Now I'm just going to assemble. So you want to put a slice of pound cake down and your macerated strawberries with all that juice. Oh my goodness. Next, I'm going to add some whipped cream on top. You can make it or buy it from the store. Clearly, I didn't make it today. I definitely got it from the store. <laughs> and now I'm just going to add some of the juice on top of there. Next, I'm going to add another sli slice of the pound cake. This time, I'm adding the whipped cream first. And then I'm going to top it with all that strawberry and all that juice and just let it soak up. And just look, at, I can't, I can't even deal. 
I'm so mad because I can't even eat this. <laughs> but it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out VivoHome.com. Don't forget to check out their Instagram, their website. Tell them I sent you. The link for you to get a percentage off of your purchase will be below. Um... And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all. And this is what the shortcake looks like. And I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.